It's still an uphill battle to get full ownership of the Northland Communications Building on Court Street. The property is made up of three different parcels with three different owners. This morning, the city held a public hearing to discuss the way to move forward and whether to invoke eminent domain to acquire Vincent Bailey's part of the building. A few months back, Bailey turned down the Urban Renewal Agency's offer. He has also rejected an offer from the other person in this puzzle, developer Francis Pezzalanella. The URA has a verbal agreement with Pezzalanella about the city acquiring his parcel. Arjun Selig was at the meeting. She has the details. Well, it's a very unique situation for them to take our property and to have us buy it back after they take it. It's, it's not a very welcoming feeling. In order for the URA to move forward with their plans to redevelop the building, they need full ownership of all three parcels. Today, Vincent Bailey's attorney, Kathleen Bennett, says there's still a lot of unanswered questions. How many jobs would be created? Is the unknown proposed use a relocation of an existing use from elsewhere in the town or the city or the county? What will be the tax consequences? Will there be a pilot that reduces property taxes? Uh, and what are the actual economic impacts? I think my attorney did a good job uh, bringing forward the facts of the eminent domain procedure and uh, quite a few places where they haven't been very transparent. Every effort was made to acquire the property through uh, negotiation and that was unsuccessful. Uh, the, pro the, the agency did make an appraisal, have an appraisal done, and made an offer in writing based on that appraisal. Uh, that offer was rejected. It, it really is, the use of eminent domain it really is a last resort as, at this point. Bailey says he's willing to work with the city, but has not made an offer. Uh, that we're willing to pay a fair, just price for the rest of the building and develop it in accordance with their uh, redevelopment plans. Could you set the price? Uh, what I told him is that we would be willing to pay more than any other urban renewal property has sold for. After about a 15 minute public hearing, the URA will look into this matter moving forward. The next step in the process is for the agency, the board, to uh, develop its findings relative to this process within the next 90 days. In Utica, Jen Selig, Eyewitness News. Brian Thomas says the URA isn't necessary, uh, necessarily unwilling to sell to Bailey, but the agency wants the, uh, to put the entire building through its standard process so it can be an open and competitive market. During the public comment, Councilman Joe Marino, who's running for mayor, says the URA should reconsider the use of eminent domain in this property. Marino sent a letter to the URA, says... Uh, he, using imminent domain should be the last resort and is asking the Utica Urban Renewal Board to take at least 60 days to properly and publicly market the property to see if there's other interest. That way, the public can determine if there is or isn't hope for sale other than by consolidating the parcels. As noted elsewhere in this report, the city feels that it can't market the property piecemeal.